Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Gold Gas here. This episode is about the ideal logic range and how to service them. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop. Maybe some new promotions and new competitions, so it's worth doing. Before you begin, do your visuals, all your basics. Do your analyzer readings with the case on. Check your operating pressure and inlet pressure. Make sure you've got no problems there. If you're servicing often, it's definitely worth keeping the ideal service kits on your van. They do it a couple of different types depending on model and serial. Remove the two screws holding the inspection hatch and remove that, check seals. Start draining the boiler, isolate the gas and the electrics. Pump up the vessel to the pre-charge set on the vessel or per MIs. Check the Schrader valve, make sure that's not letting by as well. Remove the flue manifold. Undo the nut, sometimes there's a clip holding the pipe work to the fan. And then unscrew the left hand side screw on the fan assembly and that will lift out. Disconnect the cables of the fan assembly and check the seal on removal. Four screws on top holding the burner to the heat exchanger. You only need to slacken the rear ones about 10 turns. You need to angle the burner to get it out. Some models can be a bit tighter than others and depending on which way the flue is. Again, check and replace the seal if you need to. Remove the condensed trap and rubbers and then you want to give it a clean out and then put back in for now. Clean the inside and outside of the injector which is attached to the fan. Using a hex key, remove the electrodes, check the seals, check the condition, make sure the spacing is good, refer to your MIs, I'll do a screenshot as well, if the condition isn't good and it can't be cleaned up and then replace. Using a brush, cleaning the deposit on top, and then using a longer brush, a bit thicker but not too thick, you don't want a metal one or anything, just nylon brush is good, and then get it in that heat exchanger, clean as much out as you can. This brush is from Regan. They do a lot of brushes, different kits, worth picking up a few as they uh, serve different purposes, different boilers and different burners.
I'm gonna pour some warm water into the heat exchanger, spreading it all across it. If you're pouring a lot down there, it's best to replace the sump cover. If you're just doing a little bit, you could probably get away with it. I've got the condents disconnected because I just want to see the condition of the water coming out. And then it's wise to actually put the condents back on and then you can see if that is clear with the amount of water you're draining. You can actually see if it's draining away. Keep pouring water down there until the chalkiness is no longer and there's no deposits you just want clear water running through so keep going repeating until you get clear water run through there remove the trap give it a good clean out again and the rubbers and then put back in On a combi, if you're having flow issues or hot water issues, you can also give the flow turbine a good clean out as well. I won't put it in this video. There is another video I've done. I'll put a link above and you can check that out if you need. Refitting now. Check the dimensions from the electrodes to the burner. I'll do a screenshot of the manual here so you can see what I mean. Burn it back in place before you screw it back down. Just double check that seal is in one piece. Case back on, you want to do your analyzer readings. There's two test points on these, depending on the age. You've got the right hand side black test nipple, which you can attach a U gauge to, or there's the regular cap test point on the flue turret itself. With the boiler in service mode, if you don't know how to put it in service mode, I'll put a link above. You want to check the minimum and maximum as per your gas books. There's no specific readings for these in the manual as long as it's below 350 parts per million and ratio below 0 0.0040. Cases can be tricky and you need to make sure you've got a room seal. So if you're not gas safe registered, please don't try this because it can be dangerous. Check normal operation afterwards and put the settings back to as you found them. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions, and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.